Typhoon Chan 2 is undergoing extreme rapid intensification despite being named only 18 hours ago. Now a Category 4 Typhoon located at 16.3 degrees north, 133.5 degrees east, this 4 a.m. China Standard Time, September 8th. We're looking at winds of 145 miles an hour, a pressure of 939 millibars. It is moving just north of west at 10 miles an hour. No CDPS currently to do the fact that it is still too far away from land at this time. Here it is on the map there, you can see where it is, and of course the wind field for this is extraordinarily small, only 50 nautical miles is where the wind tropical storm force winds extend from the center, 45 to 40 in all other quadrants. Going over the distances, it's currently 797 miles away from Basco, 814 from Midbayat, where the landfall could potentially occur given the recent cone, 954 from Kaohsiung, 1186 from Shantou and 1252 from Shanwai, uh, those latter two cities of course in China. It's 1283 kilometers away from Basco, 1310 from Midbayat, 1535 away from Kaohsiung, 1909 from Shantou, and 2015 kilometers away from Shanwai. Of course we could be seeing warnings issued for some of these locations soon. We have it at 145 miles an hour, which is what the JTWC will be running with. SAP has it slightly lower at 130 miles an hour, and SACCON, ATMS, and ADT have it significantly behind, with only 105 miles an hour at the moment. Here's the latest come from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Keep in mind this is back when they only had it at 100 miles an hour, uh, so of course this is significantly outdated as it has pushed way past that at this point. Uh, they were forecasting this to become a 135 knot super typhoon that was just below category 5 intensity before impacting the northern Luzon area or parts of Taiwan as a category 4 typhoon. Whether this will be nudged upwards, we will be figuring it out this soon. Uh, and then of course we could be looking at a China landfall as a typhoon still as well. Here are the sea surface temperatures. Uh, they look relatively decent, 29 to 30 degrees Celsius for the entire life of the storm it seems. So nothing that's going to be impacting this in terms of the temperatures at the very least. So very good environment in terms of the sea surface temperatures ahead. Uh, and given the wind swath, it definitely looks like we will be seeing impacts in the northern Luzon Straits as well as Taiwan's. And of course the rainfall is going to be significant as well. We could be seeing 8 to 16 inches of rain potentially more in some spots, especially across uh, Taiwan there. Here's the intensity models. It's kind of hard to say anything about this given the fact that Shan 2 has literally gone past all of them, so you really can't be using these to make a forecast at this point. Wind shear is going to be relatively low for the uh, duration of this storm. Maybe it might go up a little bit around the 12th, but other than that, sea surface temperatures and relative humidity are going to be very high and will support the development and continued uh, performance of Shantou, so definitely nothing stopping it until the next four or five days. Here is the latest satellite imagery. You can really see its eye poking out. It's a very strong system, and considering the fact that this was, as mentioned earlier, 18 hours ago named, uh, this is a very strong performance so far, especially after we had no typhoons in August. So the Western Pacific is back, uh, and it is definitely coming back with a vengeance, and of course we will be going live on this on multiple occasions with the serious threat this this does provide. The next update will be coming in around 11 or 12 hours. By then we should hopefully get a better idea in terms of the future of Shantou, especially in its intensity.